Hey everybody, so it's Russian K Artist here today and today's video I am doing a beautiful project for a friend, friends, uh, plural. Um, they wanted me to go ahead and make a nice wall art for them out of resin and the stuff that they brought for me which was sand, seashells, sand dollars. They wanted it to be like a kind of like a memory type of a thing, a wall art piece. So here I am, I'm just putting the plastic around the sides of this. I put the wax on the bottom so that if anything drips onto the sides, I can easily get it off of the wood. Um, so yeah, just here preparing it, making sure that there's no leaks and stuff like that. Sorry about that, I kind of wanted to add just a little bit of ASMR in there. <laughs> I thought it would be pretty interesting because I love the sound of the bag with the sand in it and stuff. Anyway, so here I am preparing the first layer of this piece. I was originally going to make it about three layers to four layers. I didn't expect to do the amount of layers that I'm going to do here. It's going to be about like five or six maybe even. Um, but anyways, I prepared it, made it a little bit too thick though. So I decided uh, to add some more in after I spread it on the canvas. So here's just the dirt because I wanted to make an effect where it's going to be thicker dirt on one side and then it's going to go thinner. So basically it's almost like the ocean scene coming in. But I wanted to make sure that the whole bottom was still covered in the sand. And I went ahead and made sure, you know, I added some extra sand in it that wasn't as thick just so that it flows down more put a little bit of tape on the side to kind of level it so that it just you know to basically unlevel it and then I made it just go ahead and go down I'm testing out different shells here real quick just really tiny ones to see if it's good enough to put the bigger shells on and it wasn't yet so I had to give it a little bit more time and once it was ready I went ahead and started putting the sand dollars on the problem here lies in the fact that I put the sand dollars a little bit too low in the beginning so I had to take them off and put them a little higher even though the resin was really sticky at this point. I had a little bit of trouble here trying to get those sand dollars off. Um, I was afraid of ruining the, the actual dirt part right now but I didn't really care too much because at the same time I was like I could just use a little heat and it will fix it up. So I went ahead and placed them on up really really nicely just the way that they wanted me to do it and then I kind of pushed them down to make sure that they were going to stay in that sticky resin. Alright, so here was the fun part, adding on the tiny shells, all of these different shells that they actually picked out themselves. And I assorted them into any kind of way that I thought would look really, really nice. They even had like these ones that look like rocks, but yeah, really pretty. I love the way it turned out. And then, so I have three different colors here. We have a green, we have a green blue, and then we have like a, just a blue color. And they're all pretty dark colors for the first layer because I wanted to give it more depth in the whole thing. They let me kind of be free about it and play around however I wanted to. So that's what I did. I went ahead and uh, played around a little bit too much. And that's why this project's gonna have way too many layers. Otherwise, it would have had like two, three layers for like, you know, most of the resin, and that's max. Super excited. It turned out beautiful for the first layer. I was really nervous about this, honestly. Um, but now it's time for the next layer. So it was just a lighter blue color, no green in there whatsoever because the green itself on the bottom is enough to go through anyways. So then we added even lighter blue color. Now these are actually glow in the dark colors because they th that color itself just looked a lot nicer. So I don't have any videos of it glowing in the dark once it's finished. But I mean, I, I probably should have. It would have been super nice to see that, but my camera doesn't capture glow in the dark as well as I wish it would. But yeah, so here is the next layer after that, which it's even lighter blue colors because you kind of want it to fade in from dark to very light. And then a majority of this third layer of color is just more uh, transparent color. So there's no color to it. So there's just a little bit of blue and then just transparent. And then I made sure to cover up the shells because once you get the shells wet in the resin, it's almost like getting them wet in water. So they do change color a bit. I took this part off a little bit too early. I should have waited, but I was just so impatient and I was like, it's okay. I'll fix the sides anyways. I don't care if they rip a little bit because I need to sand down the sides. Um, I still ended up waiting like 24 hours before I started sanding it all, but this part was really difficult to take off. Uh, I think I used a little too much heat on my heat gun and I, or my torch actually, I mean, and I also um, didn't spray it 
so it stuck on a little too much, uh, but that's okay. It's fine. Sanding it made the difference. It got rid of it. It took a little bit longer than I wanted to sand it, but it was perfectly fine. So that's what it looks like right now on the sides. As I'm just showing you, you can see the different layers when you're really paying attention to it. Through my camera here, you can't see it as well, but if you see it in real life, super cool. So I went ahead and sanded it at first, just the corners with my tiny hand sander, uh, my little tool. I don't know what this is called, but this is, this is what it, I used. So I sanded down the sides a little bit, and then I went with my hand sander and just got the rest of the nicks and crannies on the sides. It took me a while to get this part, but anyways, after that, I added some tape onto the sides and added some of the dirt to the side of the canvas because that was my original plan and then it was kind of hard to take the tape off afterwards once it you know hardened up because the sand itself makes it even harder than if it's just regular resin so i had to use my heat my heat gun to kind of you know make it so it will come off easier and then i use the heat gun on the bottom to warm up that wax and warm up that resin and get off any of those little tiny pieces that dripped off i literally take it off every single time i do a layer and it drips onto the sides just because the more layers you have on there and then you take it off and they're really thick will actually ruin the project sometimes. So here I'm doing another clear coat on top and this is my next struggling point. Now I was originally going to do it in black letters but since I played around too much with this project I ended up having to make it white letters and I didn't have a Cree cut at the time but I bought one because I've been eyeballing it for such a long time and I was like I don't care. It's going to be an investment at this point. Um, so I bought my Cree Cut machine. Love it, but I didn't know how to use it correctly because you can see how much I'm struggling here. If only I were to pay attention more on YouTube from all those tutorial videos that I saw, but I was, I was not. So it took me longer to get this first part off. I learned afterwards how to get it off better and yeah, never going to do it this way again. So yeah, make sure the surface is nice and clean. And I stuck on the Seaside 2021. Oh my goodness, it looks so nice. So pretty. So yeah, there's that. And then here's the names that they wanted on there. And as you can see, it's no struggling here. I didn't want to show you guys how I was going to do it because that'd be annoying too. But no struggling here on taking these words off now. Except for the fact that that I for Simon, the little dot just wanted to come off the whole time. And then making sure that the words don't come off, one more layer of resin. Like I said, I did way too many layers of resin, but it's cool. I'll learn next time I, I won't do time too much, especially that I have the Cree Cut machine now. I don't have to worry about it. So yeah, this is the ending result, everybody, once it's all dried up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if there's any projects you guys want me to do in the future with resin, or if there's anything that's very interesting for you you want me to do, comment that down below, and like this video, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye. God bless.